Hi, Haley. Hi. Happy 501 day. I'm going to have coffee with Haley and I'm gonna ask her questions so I can get to know her a little bit better to celebrate 501 day. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to 501 day. Cheers to 501 day. Okay, first question. Coffee, hot or cold? This is something that I've thought about before in life. Yeah. Majority of the time it's cold, mm -hmm. but it depends on the weather. Same. And also I prefer hot coffee in the morning. Yes. If I'm up at 6 a.m., I feel I'm just cold. <laughs> so I get I it. I need a hot coffee, and then by the afternoon, it's a cold. It does depend. It depends. Like, it'll be like a cold day in New York randomly, and I'll be like, I need a, need hot, a coffee hot coffee right coffee. now. If I'm eating a bagel, I want a hot coffee, yes. not a cold coffee. That, why is that so true? I, I don't know. Literally, Where, are you from New York? No. Okay. But <laughs> so, no, like, to me, that's a New York thing, but I don't know. It's maybe just like a global thing and no, I'm unaware. The last time I was in New York, I got a bagel and I rarely drink hot coffee, but I got a hot coffee and I was, and it was like, everything. it's everything. Okay. So tell me about your new YouTube show. Who's in my bathroom or just yeah. the whole thing in general? Whole, all of it. Just talk about all of it. Whatever you want to share. Tell me about everything. So I started a YouTube channel, which I honestly never thought that I was going to, <laughs> but I felt like I needed to venture into the space and I wanted people to get to know me a little bit better. And I felt YouTube was the perfect platform for that. The, the way it happened actually was that the idea for who's in my bathroom came first. And I, for a long time, kept saying, I have this like idea where I, it's not really like an interview setting, but I have people that I know come on and we just do the weirdest stuff in the bathroom. Make food or play a game or we're just talking. And the first episode, we actually got drunk in the bathroom and that was like <laughs> a real thing. So now we've incorporated that every episode involves eating of some sort, a game of some sort. I can't drink with everybody because that would just maybe be a lot and not everybody's 21, so. Right. It just kind of grew into this thing and I really have found myself enjoying it more than I ever thought. I love filming them. I have so much fun. It's, it's, been, it's been really good. We need that's, to have you on. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. No, it's so awesome. I feel like YouTube, that's where I like started everything. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it is so, it's like, it can be whatever you want it to be. There's right. so much room to like show your true self. And I've watched almost all of your videos so far. And oh, I love them. You. Like they're thank so you. good, like all of them. Like thank I literally you. was like watching your skincare video and I was like writing down everything Stop. that you do. <laughs> that's, there's no way that's true. It is true. Stop. But no, I'm, I'm so excited. I'd love to be on. Yeah, I would love to have you on. We're gonna finish this and we're gonna go talk about it. But Amazing. I think what's cool about YouTube, I've not always really been super comfortable with opening myself up. Because it's scary when you open yourself up to more yeah. people on a new platform, it opens you for more judgment and opinions, but it's been a really fun process. And that's amazing. It's like, if you love it, it's like, that's the best news ever. Cause you right. never know, you know, when you start something I new. I really wasn't sure. Yeah. Totally. Like it could go so wrong. You could hate it, but like you love it. And yeah. that's And there's a lot amazing. of freedom with YouTube. I control what goes out. I put out what I'm comfortable with. If I'm not comfortable with something, it doesn't see the light of day. So I'm in charge of everything that goes on with that part of my career. So. It's cool. I totally agree with that. It's so nice that like you get to create whatever you want and it's not, because I feel like with your career outside of YouTube, there are a lot of things that aren't in your control. Mm -hmm. And so it might, exactly. it must be nice to like have that control with YouTube. Yeah. That's really, really awesome. How has your style evolved over this year? Well, obviously it's been a very different year for the entire world. I think the way that it's evolved is I just had a lot more time to find a lot more inspiration. That's how I feel. Okay, this is actually really funny. So I'm obsessed with Pinterest now. Same. Recently. Yes. And I have found so much cool fashion inspiration, hair and makeup inspiration, nail inspiration. And then I'm making all these boards and I was like, where have I been? Now I'm just addicted to Pinterest. And that's honestly where I found a lot of new inspiration. Yeah. For a lot of different things. I literally feel like we're the same person because I, I do the exact same thing because Pinterest is like positive. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's no comments. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see anything. You're just looking at pictures. And it's opened me up to a whole new world. I made like a whole board for like home decor. Then it memorizes your algorithm. So then it's putting stuff that's exactly what you want to see. Yes. It's 
everything. No, it's so like underrated. Like Very. it is the best. In case Pinterest wants to sponsor me and Emma, we Please. love you. <laughs> No, Pinterest is great. Yeah. I know we can collab on a board together. We a hundred percent should collab <laughs> on a board. I love it. Throw whatever in there, fashion inspo, nail inspo. Yes. Let's do that. Love it. Okay, next question. What is your favorite style era, fashion era? Mm, definitely the 90s. I'm a 90s baby. Mm -hmm. I don't think you are. I'm not. <laughs> And that's okay. I know. I love like supermodels of the 90s. I love actors and actresses in the 90s and kind of looking back on their vibes and what they wore. I even look at my parents in the 90s and I feel like I'm like, okay, you guys look major in the 90s. Totally. Um, and I think it was just the style then. And I think a lot of stuff that was big in the 90s and a lot of the trends that were big in the 90s are still really big to this day and silhouettes from the 90s are still really big to this day, and I think that says a lot about that era because it's still cool now. Totally. Just as it was back then. So for me, it's definitely in the 90s. I know, I like, I was two years away from being a 90s baby, but I'm a 2001 baby. And you know what? No, but I'm That's proud. Okay. You I'm should proud. Say it loud and say it proud. Amen. No, but I love the 90s, I, yeah. I agree. It's a cool, it's a, it was a cool time. I'm, say, I'm talking about the 90s like I lived it. Like I was literally <laughs> born in 1996. But honestly though, you totally get to use that though. Like I can't oh, like, even oh, I'm a 90s baby. Totally. Yeah, for like, sure. You, you've earned it. Ish. Yeah. But I think there's probably people who are like, I was born in like 1985, so I lived in the 90s. But then they're for an real. 80s baby. True. That's actually true. So it's different. Okay, so next let's talk about your go-to summer look. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about 501s. Do you like them cropped? Do you like them long? How do you style them for summer? Get into it. I think my go-to summer look is definitely a pair of denim shorts. Same. So for me, it's 501 shorts. Mm -hmm. You know, a little cheeky Ooh. moment. I'm the type of person, and some people think this is really strange. I like to wear sneakers with my bikini. And everybody, I, I literally... I'm by the way, I was driving in the car one day and I was listening to Kiss FM on the radio and they were talking about me wearing sneakers with my <laughs> bikini on the radio. Is it like that crazy that I wore Air Force Ones with a bathing suit? Because it, I guess the internet was like, why is she wearing sneakers with her bikini? But to me, it's like I wear a bikini, I put on 501s and I put on sneakers. That's my vibe in the summertime. Well, I like it because sandals, I struggle with sandals. Like it's hard to find really cute ones, and mm -hmm. like when you're on the go, it's like you don't want to wear sandals. Mm -hmm. Like I'm more of like a slides. Same. I can do a slide. Same, but I love sneakers with bikini. I, I right? like you probably inspired me to do that. Like you were probably on my Pinterest. I'll take board. that. I'll Honestly, take it. like it I'll was, take that it. was probably you because I totally am into that. And also the 501 cutoff shorts, like you can wear the same pair all summer, and it just. A hundred percent. If I'm packing for a trip in the summertime, if I'm going away to the beach for the weekend, it yeah. has to be a pair of 501s. Okay, next question. I'm actually so curious to hear your answer. New York or LA? A hundred percent New York. Okay, I'm same. from New York though. Even more, yes. So okay, yeah. I feel like I have a lot of New York pride, East Coast pride. I do live in LA now, but if I like had it my way, it would probably be half the year in New York, half the year in LA. Isn't that the dream? That's, I think that's like by coastal is kind of just the dream overall for probably most people. But right. I, I love New York so much. I grew up outside of New York City and then I moved into the city when I was 17. So I just feel so attached to New York. All my family is still in New York other than my sister. And, you know, like my parents still live there and I just feel like I'm always gonna be a New York girl at heart, East Coast forever. I love that. Where are you from? I'm from San Francisco oh. area, like south of it. So like more boring, but I like to say San Francisco cause it sounds cooler, but. Um, but you're from California. Yeah, but yeah. I still would choose New York probably over LA. You know what's interesting is that, well, you're not from San Francisco, but I remember the first time I went to San Francisco and thinking that there was a lot of aspects of it that reminded me of New York. Totally. So I could see... Similar vibe. Yeah. I just love New York. Me like, too. you can't go wrong. You can't. The food, everything, the vibes. Everything. It's, she's perfect. She's perfect. Okay, so my last question is, tell me about your nail routine. How long do you like them? What color? 
what shape, like give me the whole rundown. So for me with nails, I think nails are really fun because I'm really into nail art and Same. stuff. I feel like it's the one thing that can be a bit more over the top. Mm -hmm. I feel like I actually always equate my nails to when I was like a teenager and I wanted just long acrylics. And my <laughs> mom always like hated it when I would come home with these like long nails. And I she's know. like, how are you gonna do anything with those nails? But I felt like it was a form of self-expression and I still feel that way about nails. Yeah. So for me, I've gone through a journey with my nails. My natural nails were always getting filed down and cut. I think a lot of the time when you work in fashion, they want nothing, like nubs. They right. want just those short, short, short nails with their nail polish. I totally get it. It's very clean. It's very classic. So right now, these are my nails. <gasps> those are so simple and, and pretty. They grew so much during quarantine. And I was on a mission during mm -hmm. quarantine to keep my hair and my nails really, really healthy, let them thrive, let them grow. So I would say it's hopefully like a little bit longer natural nail. Yeah. But when they're not long and I want them to be longer, I'll do like a little gel extension. Yes. To give a little bit of length. Yes. Other than that, for like the summer, I love like a avocado green color, a pop of color, and then in the more cold, like fall, wintry months, I love coffee color nails, burgundy. I love hunter green color Warm, on my nails. Dark, deep. And I also really like, which I've done a couple times, little oranges on my nails. Cute. I like fruit nails. Yes. And like flowers on the nails, like I little love that daisies, stuff. all that kind of thing. I find so many nail inspos on Pinterest. Pinterest. I know. For like Coachella every single year. Oh, it's time to go off. It's time to go with the Coachella nails. Yeah. I would always do really long nails and then glow in the dark nail polish. That was my theme every year for Coachella's. I would do glow in the dark nail polish. I love that. Each year. It's so fun. That's genius. When you go to the festival at night and it gets dark, your nails are glowing and it's really Sick. fun. Very fun. And you have, is this all your nails? Oh, these are so beyond fake. Like this, <laughs> these are as fake as it gets because my nails are broken to the max because I've had acrylic since I was in like eighth grade. Okay, right. like I've been going. Right. Um, so my, I don't even know what my natural nails look like. Okay, so for 501 Day, we have these special little cards of me and Haley. Yes, the, and these cool 501 Originals commemorative trading cards, <laughs> which we actually both have not even seen yet. No, so this is really exciting. So we're gonna open. And also you guys could get these. So check that out. Oh, um, these are cute. There she is. <gasps> there she is. Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> hey, everybody. Is it Chamberlain or Chamberlain? Chamberlain. It's okay, literally it right the, the longest, time. most annoying last name ever. Um, I'm getting used to it, though, after 19 These years. are cool. These are so fun. <gasps> Wait, this is so fun. Hi, Hi. queen. That's me. I know, these are really fun. Love it. Guys. Make sure to get them, pick them up. Pick these up. These are perfect for a bookmark. I just started getting into reading. Actually true. So. So did I. Really? We're like really kind of the same person. I know, this it's actually weird. freaking I hate out. reading. I say hate. But then I started getting into fiction novels and I was like, this is so fun. We, we need to talk about books after this because I right. actually just read such a good book and I really think that, have you read East of Eden by John Steinbeck? No, is it great? Okay, you need to read it. Okay. We'll talk about We'll this. talk about recommendations we'll yeah. when we're done here because I have one for you too. Amazing. Haley, I love talking to you. This was so much fun. Kisses. Mwah. Happy 501 day. This was really fun. This was. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Who's having who? Who's having who? <laughs> I'm actually not sure, but I love it. This was great. Bye. We'll see you later. See I'm, I'm taking this, actually. Oh wait, yes. Yeah, I don't want mine. No, yeah. Bye. Bye.